Prince Charles may bestow a new title upon the children of his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, after he accedes to the throne, according to a royal author. Prince Charles has been rumored to be keen on modernizing the royal family and streamlining the firm when he becomes king. However, one royal author claimed the Prince of Wales is also a traditionalist and suggested Charles may like to rectify an anomaly within the royal family after acceding to the throne. Royal commentator Brian Hoey noted Camilla has two children, Laura Lopes and Tom Parker Bowles, born during her previous marriage with Andrew Parker Bowles, who don't have titles. Their lack of titles will be a rare exception in royal tradition once the Duchess is crowned Queen Consort as, he claimed, we have never, ever had children of a king or queen who remained untitled. The author told Express.co.uk, I think what will be interesting, when Camilla becomes queen, is what happened with her children. We have never, ever had children of a king or queen who remained untitled, so that will be interesting. Are we going to have the Parker Bowles children being elevated? Asked how likely he thinks Charles will provide Mrs. Lopes and Mr. Parker Bowles with titles, Mr. Hoey added, I think it's very probable. Stressing he believes the titles would be very minor ones and would not impact the working core of the royal family, he continued, I think they are bound to get some sort of a title. Charles, even though he said he wants to be a modernizer, he is also a traditionalist, very much a realist. He quite likes ceremonial and he believes in the honor system in Britain and I think he will do whatever he feels it's the correct formal thing to do at the time. Prince Charles became the stepfather of Camilla's adult children in 2005, when the royals tied the knot. The Prince of Wales is believed to have a good relationship with the Duchess son and daughter, and has a strong link in particular with Mr. Parker Bowles, given he was one of his godparents. Camilla's children have remained out of the royal spotlight during the years and have careers of their own. Mr. Parker Bowles is a renowned food writer while his sister is an art curator. Following her second marriage, Camilla's support for her children has remained unchanged and she has regularly attended book launches and events involving her son. In turn, Mr. Parker Bowles joined Camilla's online book club The Reading Room last autumn by helping the Duchess provide a selection of cookery writers to be introduced to the followers of the project. Camilla is to become Queen Consort following the end of Queen Elizabeth II's reign, as stated by the current sovereign in a message she released on February 5th. On the eve of the beginning of her historic Platinum Jubilee, the Queen said, I would like to express my thanks to you all for your support. I remain eternally grateful for, and humbled by, the loyalty and affection that you continue to give me. And when, in the fullness of time, my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me, and it is my sincere wish that, when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service. This swift move crushed the announcement made by Clarence House in 2005, which stated the Duchess would be known as Princess Consort rather than Queen upon the accession to the throne of her husband. Reacting to the Queen's statement, Camilla said during a visit to Nourish Hub in February, I feel very honored, very honored and very touched. No rumored plans for Prince Charles's future reign, including widely reported claims he intends to slim down the firm, have so far been confirmed by the palace. Last month, the Mail on Sunday reported a source saying the Prince of Wales' coronation as king will be shorter, sooner, smaller, and, less expensive than the one hosted for the Queen at Westminster Abbey in 1953. It was also reported Charles and Camilla would be crowned together, as it happened to the Queen Mother on the coronation day of King George VI in 1937. A Clarence House spokesman said regarding this report, the detailed planning for a coronation begins at the point of accession. So there are no plans of this nature at this stage.